Okay guys, so I've got a neat little goodie I'm going to be opening up today for you all. This is another DreamWorks Trolls merchandise unboxing. I found this when I was checking out the merchandise they have available on Amazon. And I found this and thought it seemed pretty nice if it ended up being um, fairly legit. So I thought I would order it and test it out because if you're like me or if your kids are like me, you love these little artist sets and it comes with these watercolors and these paints and it also comes with glitter mix paint pots so I wanted to kind of see if this ended up being a nice set or not and it says on here that there are 50 pieces so we will count and see what all because they may be counting the paints individually otherwise I don't see how they would get a total of 50 pieces and it says it's for ages 4 and up so I'm good so let's open this up and check it out I love this plastic glitter case this is really nice and it's got two little snaps here so we can unsnap and open I like it's got these two little plastic pieces here that kind of hold your paint in place and here is our two looks like our two glitter paints that we can mix in with our other paint and we get two brushes and it looks like they are the same size so they're two I guess that's if you want to share and then these are our watercolors which are really nice and they've got also a little tab here that you can set over and it keeps your watercolors in place which is nice too. I'm not really sure what this little slot here is for. Maybe a tiny pencil or you might get fit a crayon down in there. And then you also get 10 pieces of line art that you can paint or if you wanted to save some of them and color them instead of using your paint you could do that. So let's open up our line art. and see what all our pictures are. And then they're not together, so it's not like a notepad where they're all together at the top, so they are all individual. So there's one. And this is super thin paper. It's not a very heavy weight at all. So I will be interested to see how well it holds up with the paint because I'm sure there will be some wrinkling going on. Here's Harper. If you're not familiar with Harper, she's the artist. You can see she's got a little paint palette here. And naturally when you color you have to add all her little paint splatters. I really like the line art. They have some very pretty pictures. And that's Poppy. And if you have not seen my Princess Poppy drawing video, check it out. I've done Poppy and I've also done Smidge. If you want to see my troll art, also go to my YouTube channel and see the troll art I've done so far. 
Ooh, and it looks like so the rest I guess is just painting for fun so you're using your own imagination so let's see we got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten blank pieces of paper just for some free painting and then it's all on our piece of cardboard so they said we got 10 line art so they may have sent us 20 pieces let's see Yep, so we got 10 um, line art images, and then we got 10 pieces of blank paper, and they're all individual. There's no glue up on the top, so you don't have to worry about peeling them apart. And then they've got this cardboard on the back for support, but like I said, this is really super thin paper, so I'm interested to see how well it holds up with the paint. So that is my unboxing of the DreamWorks Trolls Crayola washable paint and paper kit. And it comes in this nice little case here. It's got these little snaps, which I like, which is good. And since it has the little tabs here on the inside, when you lift it up, you don't have to worry about your paint or anything falling down since they have those bits of plastic that hold them into place, which I also really like because that's one of that's usually a negative thing when you buy cases like this when you pick them up, all your stuff falls down. So I really like that they thought to include that. So I'm going to pop this back open. And I'm gonna pick me out a picture and see how well this paint works. All right guys, thoughts on the paint set. I was a little skeptical about how well the watercolor would respond to the thin paper that came with the kit. So the line art on the left, I coated with a thin coat of Mod Podge just to kind of see what the reaction would be with the watercolor. And as you can see, I didn't have a lot of bleeding. You can kind of see my streaks from where the glue dried, but the watercolor responded fairly well. I didn't have any kind of bleeding out through the edges. If you look at my picture on the right, I was really disappointed at how badly the watercolor bled. I, I really was not expecting it to be that bad. I thought there would be some wrinkling in the paper and things like that, but I honestly did not expect it to bleed out of the lines that bad. So I was really frustrated with that. I was able to cover most of it with the paint. And I did try mixing the glitter with the paint since it says it's to mix with it and it does not show up very well and I found like I did with the troll on the left that it works best to paint the troll a color first and then once it's kind of dry go back and add the glitter. Other than that um, the brushes are halfway decent they're a little big for the tiny details and um, when I worked on it independently later on when I was not filming I used one of my small number four brushes to fill in the small areas um, and I'll be pretty honest I got pretty frustrated after working on these a little bit so I did not finish them right away but I did go back and 
work on them and I've got the finished products at the end of the video. And in going back, I did find that the watercolor works okay, but you have to use a minimal amount of water. I mean, you're using a minuscule amount, just a teensy, teeny tiny bit, enough to kind of get the paint on your brush and then paint the paper. And I found that I had much more success with using a teeny tiny bit of water for the watercolor. That being said, I did get out one of my uh, mixed media paper pads and I sketched on it a little bit and tried the watercolor out on it and it did fine. I didn't have any bleeding. Um, the colors blended nicely. So the fault is in the paper. You cannot skimp on paper. And I can't believe since this is a paint set that they put such thin paper in the box. And I also tried, um, I have a little cheap pack of just dollar store markers, and I tried those as well on the paper just to kind of see how they would react, and they did fine. I did not get any bleeding from that, so if your little kiddos want to color the line art with the markers, they work fine. Just make sure you are using fine line markers. Other than that, it's a really decent set. The paints are nice. Just make sure when you use the paint cups that you stir them up really good, either with the brush or a toothpick because they tend to separate a little bit so you get a little bit of the clear gel at the top. Um, other than that, again, I had a lot of success using the watercolor just on the mixed media paper. So the fault is not in the watercolors. The fault is in the paper. And this is a good little kit to have, you know, if you're going on vacation, if you're going to grandma's house and you want something nice to carry your painting supplies in, you could always replace the paper or cut some down to fit in the little slot it comes in because it is a decent set. The colors are really nice. You've got a good array of colors. Watercolors work fine if you've got decent paper. The brushes are okay. I mean, pretty much in all sets like this, they send you the little cheap brushes. At least it's got um, relatively decent bristles. Usually you get those cheap little plastic bristles, but this is actually, you know, fake hair in the brush, which is much nicer. And that's it. I hope this video helps you out if you are researching the different art sets that are available out there for the DreamWorks Trolls movies. There's this set and I think several other Crayola sets. There's also a cute coloring book that's out. Like or subscribe below if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.